The legislators. The press. Oh my God. Everybody's trying to shame us. Into being embarrassed. Oh my. Well, you know what? This isn't stained. It's still got a shine on. Stop treating us like animals and thugs. Start treating us with some respect. It's disgusting. <laughs> Trying to make us embarrassed of our profession. Don't resist! Don't resist! Don't resist! Don't resist, bro! I'm not! What do I do? What do I do? You know, the past few weeks I've been talking to you. We talked about what are you thinking? We talked about uh, what's next. Today I want to talk about um, what do I do? We are faced in a world with a pandemic, protest, and just problems everywhere. What do I do? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about that today. Teaching in Christian circles today that it's okay to be angry and sin not. And I want you to understand something. There are some things in our lives that will make you angry. But what you have to understand is that anger is an emotion and sin is an action. Emotions come. In this life, we live on an emotional roller coaster. One day you're up, the next day you might be down. You cannot be governed by your emotions. That's what this lesson is about. Our scripture reading is coming from Ephesians chapter 4. Starting with verse number 22. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So it's a common teaching in Christian circles today to advise people to be angry and to sin not. And a lot of times that feel, people feel that gives them the okay to act on their anger. But I want to teach a lesson today about the importance of you having control over your emotions. Anger there are some things in this life that will make you angry. When we deal with the situation that we're dealing with today, the, the issue of how did we get under this pandemic, the issues of why we're protesting and why are the protests being protested. Here we are, we're dealing with situations that we never dealt with before. When we see names like Trayvon Martin and, and Michael Brown and, and Amon Aubrey and George Floyd, we become angered because we can relate to those situations. We can relate to, uh, as I for myself, I, as an African American man, I've been pulled over. I've been handcuffed in my car for driving while black and no other reason. I can relate to that anger, but I understand that as a believer, I'm not governed by my emotions. What, what, what emotions are you having? Public, personal, and private. Let's talk about. In the public, there are some things right now that will cause us to be moved to anger that stir up the emotion of anger in us. Publicly, when we see systematic racism, when we see government uh, not working with but against people, it, those are public things that will make one angry. There are some personal things that will make you angry. When you're stuck in your past, the woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm angry because I didn't go to school when I should have gone to school. I'm angry because I hooked up with the wrong person. I'm angry because my children are walking. Into, there are some things in a personal sense that will make you angry. Then there are some private things that make you angry. There are some things that you can't discuss with people on the inside of you that make you angry. But the truth of the matter is you can govern your emotions 
by your actions. Emotions are one thing. The heart is deceitful. There's a lot of things that happen in your emotion. There's a thin line between love and hate. There's a lot of things that happen in emotions. But your actions have consequences. There are consequences for your actions. What are you going to do with your emotions? What are you going to do with your actions? Are you going to allow your emotions to create situations that you will have to pay for? You know that there's a cost for everything that you do. Allow your actions to determine the victory over your emotions. Your actions should be when things happen that you don't understand is to seek understanding from God. Your actions should be to follow peace, to find a way to get the advancement. Your actions should move you from where you are to where you need to be. This is a tough time. We're dealing with a lot of situations, privately, personally, and in the public. I want you to govern your emotions by your actions. Emotions are real. Don't you ever let anybody tell you that what you're experiencing is not real. Anger is an emotion. You are to control your emotions. You are to speak to your emotions. You are to get help when you need help. Sin is an action. Select your action. Select what you're going to do. Fret not yourself over the evildoer, but you, you do good. Find the right way to express your emotion of anger. Find the right way to exhibit something and action that will make advancement for you. Put on your new man. Go for it. Advance yourself with the right action. Do something in your community. Help some young man. Mentor somebody. Do something that's going to bring advancement out of your actions for the cost of your emotion. Listen, if this lesson has encouraged you, inspired you, or motivated you, take time to like and subscribe. Join me next week as I talk to three generations of African American men who are dealing with all of this that's going on. Thank you for joining us today. Your support is greatly valued. God bless you.